Hello there, welcome back. Let me give you yet another strategy in betting. And this strategy is how do you predict a draw in a football match? How do you even identify which matches to bet on a draw? Because most of the time you will find draws uh, having high stake. As for example, you can see here Villarreal Juventus. Look at the uh, stakes for odds for draw, 3.25. You look at Chelsea versus Lille, draw. 5.40. Look at uh, this uh, city uh, game versus Central Coast, 5.0. The draws are usually usually have high odds. But then, how do you really predict a draw in these matches? Now, the tips I'm going to give you is how to identify games that you can predict, uh, you can place a draw and win. If you've not subscribed to our channel, Please subscribe in our channel, and if you if you've not looked um, if you've not watched our previous uh, video on on uh, football prediction analysis and the sets that you can use, please uh, um, <clears throat> please click the above video and go and watch it because those sites will give you the analysis, it will give you the breakdowns, and they will help you to identify some of the games that you can actually uh, bet on a draw. Now, <clears throat> if you've not subscribed also, please subscribe, like our video, because here you're going to learn a lot of strategies in betting that will increase your chances of winning and will reduce your chances of uh, losing your money. Now, number one tip when you are when you when you are predicting a draw is look for two evenly matched teams now this one you will have to use your own judgment at times uh, at the same time uh, you can also look at the league table and look at what is at stake but you can also follow the market the easiest way is actually maybe to follow the market how for example look at uh, this game preston versus Nottingham Forest. You will notice that the odd given to Preston, yet they are playing at home, is 2.65. For a draw, is 3.05. For a win, uh, for Nottingham Forest winning away, is 2.90. You come to Reading, Birmingham, 2.60, 3.30, 2.80. These are potentially very evenly matched teams. So, they always have higher chances of having a draw. So that is the first strategy, the first tip that you need to look at is evenly matched teams. And you can look at the you can look at the the market or you can use your own judgment. For example, if uh, uh, Man United is going to play Tottenham or uh, Chelsea is going to play Man City. You know, those are evenly matched teams. So you look at that one. It will help you in predicting a, a draw. So after you've identified uh, the evenly matched uh, teams, what is the tip number two? Tip number two, you can also look at two low-scoring teams. What do I mean by that? If Tottenham is struggling to score and uh, Arsenal is struggling to score, and both teams are meeting. What mean, What happens is that there is a higher chance of these teams getting a draw. So that is another way that you can identify on which teams to, to bet a draw. So uh, in that, you can look at the recent form for Arsenal, for, for Man City. In this case, if you come here, you can look at the recent form for Villarreal and Juventus and find out are they struggling to score are they low scoring low scoring could mean they only score one or two at most but mostly maybe the team wins one nil one nil two one so that will tell you these are low scoring teams so there's a higher chance that probably they they end up in a one one or two two or nil nil draw so that that is another way of identifying which teams to bet on or on a on a draw and in low scoring games you can also you can go look at the scores you know and if, if you find that uh under 1.5 is highly priced is slowly priced or is highly priced that can also help you determine if it's a low scoring team or not now 
you've identified the teams, you've identified which one uh, uh, has a low score, you've identified if the teams are evenly matched, the next thing that you should look at, which is tip number three, look at if both teams are happy with a draw. How? For example, let's assume Villarreal and Juventus. Uh, of course, this is first leg, but let's let's assume that uh, they were in a group table where Juventus and uh, Villarreal, Villarreal. Now I'm talking not knockout, but group stage where Villarreal out of the four teams is at the top, then Juventus, then the next two teams that are following them are far. Then what will happen is that if you look at the table and you realize if Juventus get a draw and Villarreal get a draw, they are able to move into the next round. Then it means both teams are happy with their draw. So what will happen when the match uh, will be played, there will be some safety aspect, you know, they will play safe. So the chances are that the team, the game can end up in a draw. So that is another way of looking at it. And another example is if you look at the table and uh, there's a team that wants to get into top four and it has one game to go, you know, and there's a team at the bottom of the league and wants to fight relegation. So both of them, if they get a point, they are safe. Such a game is likely to end up in a draw. So you, you look at all that. Tip number four, look at a, a game where neither team can afford to lose. And now th that is where the it's a tense game. For example, the semifinals, the knockout stages, like, uh, uh, like uh, you know, now the last 16, maybe second leg. You get that both teams, especially when you reach semifinals and knockout stages, both teams, they don't want to lose, you know. Those games are usually very tight and hard, and most most of the time they end up in a in a draw. So those are the ways of identifying the teams that would end up in a draw, the games that would end up in a draw. How to predict a draw? That's how you predict a draw. And as you as you could see, if you are <clears throat> if you are if you if in the next video I'm actually going to discuss on how can you bet on um, on halftime scores and win always and one of the strategies you are going to use is first of all identifying such like games that could end up in a draw because they will help you place your bet and win and if you are interested uh you yeah, follow the link for our next video and you will be able to to find that uh, that video watch it subscribe for more more and more of these uh, uh of this betting uh, tips and predictions. So that's how you predict a draw. I've given you just four tips. There are so many tips you can look at. You can read the build up to the team. You can look at the team news and so many and so many uh, about if it is a local derby or it's not a derby. All of that can, can make you predict whether the game is going to end up in a draw or not. But that's how you go about it. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And, uh, and like our videos and follow us. Thank you very much.